Today we're happy to share a new announcement of AES-256 project encryption. So this means that while your code is at rest and in our database, you can elect to have your code encrypted using a pass key that you provide. This is a government standard high quality encryption. Uh, the key remains entirely on your computer. Uh, and then the key is temporarily provided to the web browser and we do the encryption and then send the encrypted code to our database. This provides security while you're not using the product or while the, the if the database is ever accessed, your code is completely secure. This feature is available on institutional tiers. Uh, you can find it here inside the uh, IDE. So if you come over here and click encrypt project, You'll need to click an encryption key and then uh, select the key you'd like to use and click encrypt. When you go to encrypt the project, you'll see a prompt like this, which is requesting permission to access the key. And you simply click encrypt. And um, from your end, it's completely transparent. You can't see any changes. But you can see here it's showing that it's now encrypted with the key. And then any traffic between your browser and Quantum is going to send that code encrypted. You can then decrypt the key just by clicking here and we automatically go and decrypt the key. So you can see a full list of keys in the organization. If you go to your organization page and on the home page, you can see the encryption keys that the organization has. And you can see here that there's Jared's key, mine, um, and that you can rename the key or delete it from your browser's local storage. And you can see here, there's also a record of Gustavo's key, but that's on Gustavo's computer. So there's no way for me to use that key and unless I click here and then upload Gustavo's key. So in this way, you can have an organization key or different team keys, and you can share those keys with your internal team. Um, and then all we do is we record the name of the key and you put it into the browser's local storage. This has been a feature that's been asked for for a very long time. Um, we're very happy now that we've provided a way that we can ensure security, not just with our words, but really with mechanical encryption and, and mechanisms. Um, we've always adhered to a lot of internal processes and segregation and division of responsibilities and re repos and technology that really ensure that the, the process is safe. But now there's also a physical guarantee of uh, security of your code. So um, we're very happy to ship this. You can find this in the Quant Connect terminal. In the coming days and weeks, we're going to consider trying to apply it to the other tiers. There's some risk to it because if you lose your key, uh, well, there's no way for us to recover your project. So um, do be careful if you ever do encrypt a project. Uh, it's, a, it's entirely your responsibility from that point. Thank you very much for listening and um, let us know what you think in the comments.